Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Creality Palette 4K resin printer. And I have to say guys that this printer impressed us. We've had a lot of resin printers on the channel, and for that matter, just 3D printers in general. And there are several features about the Hallet that make this a very enjoyable experience when it comes to working with resin. And let's face it, resin <laughs> requires a, a taste. You have to love to do resin because it could be messy. And there's certain features with the Hallet that make it much more easier to use. Uh, so let's get into the specs and you'll see why I really like this uh, resin printer. And I expect that other companies are going to follow suit. So first of all, this is a fast resin printer. We're looking at 170 millimeters per second print. That's around three to five times faster than standard resin printers. And that's one big thing, fast prints. Uh, the other thing is that you have a 10.3 8K LCD screen. And that's going to allow you to have a lot of miniatures or even some larger items. And we're starting to get ready for Halloween and some of the upcoming holidays. So we're doing a lot of prints um, using this resin printer's larger build plate. It has a dual linear rail, which is going to make sure that there's a lot of stability. And let's face it, when you're printing resin, you want to make sure that things stick. So that's going to help with that as well. Now, the other thing we like about this is that, and this is the part that I really enjoy, is that the resin reservoir, where you put your resin, both auto fills and withdrawals. You heard that right. I love the fact that I can push a button and it's going to fill the tank. And then when I'm done, I can push a button and it will empty the tank. Uh, no more taking your tray and tipping it over and putting it into a funnel and going through all that process. I'll tell you, if you work with resin, you know what I'm talking about. So the cool thing about this is that it will do automatically for you. Now, I will warn you, or maybe not warn you, but just share with you that it's not the fastest process, right? This isn't going to be sucking up the resin super fast. It is a gradual process and it takes some time. But hey, if I don't have to pour it, I don't have to wear gloves and I don't have to worry about cleanup. I'm signed up for this, so I love this feature. Uh, the other thing is that typically when you're working with resin, you have to worry about smell. It does smell. And there's a lot of things that you can do to really combat that. But this printer comes with a smart air purifier. And the smart air purifier works. I love the way that this printer is designed. It has a HUD that you open and close. Um, uh, well, not like a HUD, more like a hood. So it has a hood that opens and closes. And the smart air filter makes this so much more enjoyable to use because, again, you don't smell anything. Literally, when I open up the hood, that's when I actually smell the resin. When I close the hood, I don't smell anything, even while it's working. And that's a big deal for us as well. Now, it does have uh, a new lighting system, uh, the Integral Light 3.0, which is 90% going to give you 90% light uniformity. And that's going to also then help you when it comes to making sure that you have better quality prints as well as those prints uh, sticking. Now, you can remote control this uh, printer and monitor it using the Creality Cloud app as well, which I like as an added bonus. Now, from a software perspective, you can use um, Cheetobox Pro and you get one year free VIP service, which is also something that's pretty spectacular. So let's go ahead and check it out. We'll take a closer look at it and you'll see why I like this so much. I had actually seen this uh, at one of the trade shows here in Chicago and was dying to get my hands on it because of the speed and then the overall features that it has. Again, for me, the two game changers are going to be the filtration system, the auto filling of the tank, and the speed. Actually, well, there's three. So let's go to check it out. All right, guys. So uh, we're taking a look at the Creality Hallet Magic Pro. Uh, this is an 8K resin printer. And I have to say that there are several features that I really like about this printer that I wanted to share with you. Uh, first is the fact that it is Wi-Fi, but it also supports USB. So you're able to send prints directly and you're also be able, you're able to use a USB stick if that's something that you like to do. So that's one plus. The other thing I really like about this uh, printer is that it has an automatic fill and empty mechanism. So you'll see here in the back, we're going to open this up in a couple seconds, but you can actually have it automatically fill the reservoir with resin and empty it out at the same time. I think that's pretty spectacular. It also has, a, uh, I would say, a filtration system that you can use to go into a external filter if you'd like to. Now, we'll take a look at that once we open this up. So first thing we'll highlight is that, again, it does have a smart resin pump. It has a smart air purifier, and you can see the purifier right there on the side. It has a 10.38K uh, masking LCD, right? 
And the other thing I really like about this is because we deal with a lot of resin printers and the actual hood itself, the cover, is removable, but it doesn't open, it doesn't come off, it basically opens up like a hood. Check this out. That's all there is to it. Love, love, love this design. Like that it does that, keeps seeing everything everything out of the way. You know how many times I've dropped uh, the, the cover for my other resin printers or have even splashed resin on them as I'm taking out a print. The fact is this comes up like this and look how far it goes up. You can tilt this all the way up to make sure that you get no resin on the actual cover itself. And as soon as you open this up, it has a really good seal too because just by opening it up, I can smell the resin. But to this point, there is no resin smell whatsoever. Now, what else sets this printer apart is that this is three to five times faster than most printers, 170 mm. And this is gonna give you really, really fast prints uh, compared to other uh, printers that are on the market that may be printing at 30 mm. Now, another thing that I really like about this is that it has this agile Dynex motion system. And basically, this build plate can go up and down within 1.2 seconds. It's really fast. And then what you see right here is you have your two uh, dual linear rails, right, which are going to give you less wobble when it comes to your Z. Now, the actual resin pump is also pretty spectacular. You're basically looking at an autofill and withdrawal, and it can fill or recover up to one liter of resin within an hour. Now, the one thing that I've noticed about this is that it's not fast. And you, and you heard me quote that statistic of an hour. So you can obviously remove the actual resin, lift up the tray, pour it into a bottle, and you can do that within seconds, right? Maybe minutes. But the whole point is that you don't have to touch it. It's hands-free and it will do it on its own. Now it will take a little bit longer, but there's no splashing. There's no, you don't have to worry about putting on gloves. And that's something that we use. We really like that. Now, for those of you who are curious on the type of resin that we've been using, uh, this is what we've been running on the Creality. We don't have the super fast resin, uh, but this has been working fine for us. To give you a sense, or just to show you what the overall quality of the prints have been so far, uh, here is one of them. A little gnome here going on. All right, put them here. We've done uh, Dia de los Muertos skull, which I thought came out pretty great. So here is the skull. You can see the quality right there. Didn't overbake this one too much. So like the, the quality of what this looks like right there. So I'll put him right here on this side. We have some other. This guy is right now showing up a lot on Netflix. Ha 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 ha. Right. Put them right there. See what else we have. Here are some miniatures. You can see uh, the resolution of what you're going to be able to get with this printer. Let's say we can make sure that this stays in focus. It's pretty good. Put her right there. We have another one. See that quality right there. Make sure we got it in focus. There you go. Looks pretty fun. Really like the way that one looks. We have a couple more. Check that out. Really, really nice. A lot of detail being captured there. And the supports are relatively easy to remove. All right. We'll probably clean this up a little bit more. That's okay. Where's another one? Let's drop that one. Go to the detail again. Really nice. All right. Clean that one up too. One more. And we'll get a little closer right there so we can see the detail. Very nice. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.